A nice morning so far, it seems like, huh? It is, and it's one of those mornings. Have you all noticed, like, sometimes on your drive that the dogwoods have really started? Oh, yeah. Popping, I mean, along the roads in the uh -huh. neighborhoods. I love this time of year. It is great. You're right. I mean, we'll even take the allergies just to see the sights, won't we? I mean, exactly. it's really nice, but that's where the rain comes in. If you talk about nettle or pollen mm -hmm. or whatever, Lee, let me that can help dampen it just a little bit, right? It's, it's a give and take. Yeah. Rebecca had a great shot of uh, some uh, pink uh, dogwoods on her yeah. Instagram oh, account the other day that. and just, just love this time. Yeah. Of year. We, we've got, uh, you know, we own black automobiles, so like the pollen's all over oh, our yeah. cars. I mean, they're yellow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so much on them, but that's where it's kind of nice to have those rain chances moving in slowly but surely. And we've mm -hmm. got some rain chances, but I'm not sure if everybody will see it. Yeah, it's scattered showers for the Mid-South tonight, but right now in Nashville, things look good. Let's show you what is happening here in Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. This is a view of our camera now from Cookville and from Cookville right now, you're looking good over at the quad to begin our morning. Uh, here is a look at what's happening right now as we show you what is up for the day. Chilly with patchy frost over the area for you this morning. Milder and breezy as we make our way into the afternoon and then scattered showers out there as we go into tonight. Mainly showers, but there might be a thunderstorm or two as well. Here is our weather kit for you out there. Uh, Blakely Bernhardt showing that uh, you'll need layers. It's chilly now. 42 this morning and then 71 a little bit later in the day here in Nashville 71 for you this afternoon upper 60s at Cookville Crossville and then 70 back over toward the Fayetteville area our high this afternoon pushes up to right around 71 degrees the normal for this time of the year is 74 and the record for today is 87 degrees so I'd show you what is up thank you much uh, battery was uh, giving us a little bit of a fit but been to the rescue and with an assist there from Amy as well. So we appreciate that going into the weekend mid 80s on Saturday and on Sunday. And this is good. But keep in mind, this is about 10 above where we ought to be. That's a good Saturday, but if you're running a marathon, we'll be around 80 degrees by noon. Now the fast runners, they'll be done before then, but for some of the slower ones, they'll just want to kind of keep that in mind. It does look like that after this warm up, there could be some cooler weather on the way. So the latest six to 10 day outlook showing that as we go six to 10 days out, there may be a little bit of cooler weather on the way. So something that we'll watch for the end of the month today, though, high pressure gives good weather for the Mid-South. There's some of the rain that we'll keep an eye on and some of those showers. One or two could push into the western counties by sunset, but for a lot of you that is going to happen after sunset overnight tonight. Scattered showers, but possibly a thunderstorm or two scattered showers in the morning and then we dry out by tomorrow afternoon. It is going to be a breezy day. So on our super seven day, check out the wind conditions there. Breezy. Those winds later today may gust up to around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Meanwhile, for tomorrow, there's still the possibility of some scattered showers out there in the morning, but rain chances dropping off as we head into the afternoon. Rest of that seven day showing 80 degree weather for the weekend, then 79 with a rain chance on Monday. Our weather artist, Callie Ann Thompson from Carroll, Oakland, a third grader in Miss Mawson's classroom that is over in Wilson County. So Callie Ann, thank you. Our school of the day got a note from Brianna Gray saying that Mount Pleasant Early Head Start would love to be the school of the day and they are accepting applications for next year.